Hello and welcome to this week's Nugget. Uh, my name is Anastas Masharia and uh, today I want us to talk about trusting in God. And uh, before we continue, I'd like us to start with a short story of a young boy who was supposed to present in front of a big congregation in church, um, Psalms 23. We all know Psalms 23. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, you know. So he was supposed to present the whole chapter. And when he got to the stage, he was so afraid, he looked at the people and he could not remember anything. And the only thing he remembered was, the Lord is my shepherd. And after thinking so hard about it, he said, the Lord is my shepherd, and that's all I need to know. And this is my prayer for each and every one of us today. Sometimes when you're facing challenges and when you're facing tribulations in life, we are just so afraid. And uh, many things, we resort to doing many things, to asking friends for help, to you know, trying to do things and solve them in our own way. And so sometimes we end up losing the mark. And I'd like us to read uh, the word of God from the book of Mark chapter 4, verse 33 to 39. And uh, the Bible says, with many similar parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. But when he was alone with his own disciples, he explained everything. Verse 35. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to them, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. So when I was uh, meditating on this scripture, and uh, something came to mind, the, the disciples of Jesus Christ at that moment, um, they had so many options. They would have tried to, you know, um, calculate the distance between where they are and the nearest piece of land, you know, see whether they can swim or do something. But then what they did is that they knew that Jesus was with them. And uh, what's encouraging about this is because, um, first of all, these people had received the sermon from Jesus. And then secondly, um, they were with Jesus in the boat. So that means that they had Jesus with them, and yet they still had these problems. So that does not tell you that you having Jesus and being in God's will will make you immune to challenges. Storms will still come, even when you're in Jesus' will, even when you're, do, when you're doing the right things, when uh, you're praying, when you're doing what it is that God wants you to do, storms will still be there. But what, uh, what makes the difference is uh, how do you resort to you know, to seek the solution. So do you go to Jesus or do you try to do things your own way? So the same thing applies to this young man. He says that the Lord is my shepherd and that's all I need to know. So as long as Jesus is with you in the boat, then that's all you need to know. And also the book of um, Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in anything with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, let your request be known to the Lord. So that tells you that um, in whatever you do, even if you feel like you have the capacity to solve that problem, it is not you who has given you that capacity. You're doing it out of the abundance of God's faithfulness and God's generosity in your life. And the reason why you have that capacity is because God has been so gracious to you and he has been there for you and he knows that you can handle this. And um, uh, in the book of Psalms, also 23 verse 4, the Bible talks about walking through the valley of the shadow of death, that the rod and the staff of God will still be with you. And that is to say that no matter how challenging the situation will become, no matter how, um, how daring or even, you know, how threatening that challenge becomes, one thing remains, as long as you have God by your side, then you're okay. And that's my prayer and my challenge for you today. And I'd like, you to, I'd like to leave you with one quote that says, the will of God will not take you where the grace of God will not protect you. So as you meditate on this, just know that any challenge that you might be facing right now, any challenge that you may encounter, um, that God is the only solution to that problem. Do not try to do it in your own way. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 talks about trusting in the Lord with all your heart and leaning not on your own understanding. So in all your ways, acknowledge God, not in some ways, 
but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight thank you and have a blessed week